Hey everyone, welcome back to Comfortable Shoes Studio. I'm Les, and today I'm talking to you about why I love myself a cheap sketchbook. Um, so in this video, I had gone for a walk at the mall because it was miserable and rainy and cold. Actually, it was quite warm out, but it felt cold because uh, it was so windy. So I went to the mall for my walk and while I was there, I got the urge to do some sketching from life. I realized I hadn't drawn figures or people from life in a really long time. I used to do it when I commuted to work by train and uh, I haven't done it since. So I decided at the mall I was going to do that. But the trouble is I didn't bring a sketchbook with me. I had my pocket notebook and my Fisher space pen, but I wasn't feeling that. And five below was right there. So I headed over to five below with $10 in my pocket. Um, and I bought a second version of this little sketchbook. So I got one of these as part of my budget art journaling series. So I just picked up a second one as I knew I liked the paper well enough. And uh, I searched on their wall of art and craft supplies. And I saw the watercolor brush pen set. So it's 11 different colors of brush tip markers uh, in a variety of colors and a water brush included in the set. <clears throat> so I picked that up. So for $10, I had a decent sketching set and uh, I headed out to the uh, mall's food, food court with a bottle of soda that I also got at Five Below and um, sat down and I swatched out the colors. Now, I should have gotten a bottle of water so I could have filled that water brush and used it while I was there. Um, what is not mentioned anywhere on the packaging is that these markers are scented. They are not strongly scented, but enough that when I was using the watermelon uh, marker that I gave it a sniff and realized Oh, it smells like watermelon. Watermelon is not the color name. Uh, it's the scent name. Because uh, there's one called patchouli. There's cinnamon. And then there, I can't remember what the other one was that was uh, named funky. So anyway, uh, they're not so offensive. And the scent fades enough that after you close the journal, it, it goes away. <clears throat> this is not a review of these markers. This is me telling you why I love a cheap sketchbook. So part of the reason I love a cheap sketchbook is that I was able to walk into Five Below and walk out with something to draw in for five bucks. This is a $5 sketchbook. It's got okay paper. Uh, it's paper that's going to respond well to markers like this, ballpoint pens, gel pens, and uh, pencils. So, Yeah. <laughs> One of the reasons that I, I do love a cheap sketchbook is that I'm encouraged to fill it up and use it. Uh, you know, this costs five dollars for 192 pages. And I because of that, like when it came down to turning this into an art journal or an everything everywhere journal, I was not intimidated or worried about tearing out pages to make room for collage materials you know at five dollars I'm not worried about saving well I'm saving the paper obviously um I'll take it to work and I'll throw it in the bin for kids to sketch on and draw on and doodle on um I might jelly print on it I don't know it's a nice paper it's not bad paper um but yeah I'm encouraged to fill it up because you know there's lots of pages here I don't have to worry about maximizing every page. Um, if I if I screw up, if I, you know, spill ink, it's not a big deal. If I am unhappy with a drawing, not a big deal. If as I journal, I write something I'm not happy with, again, not a big deal. Um, part of it is that it's just, it's so cheap that I'm not worried about wasting paper which is something that I've definitely felt when I am working in a really nice journal. I do, I love, a, I love a cheap journal, but I also love an expensive art journal. I love uh, a really nicely made journal. I mean, obviously 
I've made my own journals. I've made my own sketchbooks. Um, I get sketchbooks and journals from my friends who are bookbinders, and I love them. Um, but they're a little intimidating to use because they're so nice. Um, and, you know, sometimes when I've made my own journals, I know the cost of the paper that went into that journal. I know the effort that went into making that journal, um, which is why when I do make my own journals now, I keep to really, really simple book structures. I'll use a figure eight stitch or a pamphlet stitch and do a single signature sketchbook instead of the more elaborate designs that I'm perfectly capable of doing. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm encouraged to use it, to fill it up. Um, you know, I can sit here, I could go to the mall every day and do life drawings in the food court. And, you know, I would fill it up with things that I'm learning about the human figure, about how the human body moves. And that is a useful use of my time in the paper. Um, the paper can be sketchy in these bum bum um, because the paper can be sketchy, the thing that I have to do is work loosely. Uh, you know, you can't, I can't go back and overwork those lines. I'm not going to go over the same line again and again and again with any material because the paper is going to break down. The ink is going to soak through, um, pencil is going to eventually poke through. Um, you know, if I do that with a water brush or a wet marker like the one I'm using in this video, it's going to pill. Um, you know, you're going to get those little, little balls of paper fiber and it's unpleasant when it does that. Um, but I think, I think because of all of those things that I have to worry about when I have one of these sketchbooks, it forces me to work quick and loose and not overwork my lines. Um, and al alternatively, if I do want to do something way more detailed, well, then I prepare my page with some craft acrylic and seal it up so that I can go over it again and again and again and sturdy up that paper. Um, and I think that, that all of that leads into the idea that these cheap sketchbooks aren't intimidating. You know, I'm not, it's the same thing as a, like a composition notebook. It's something you pay $5 or 50 cents for. It's not an intimidating uh, amount of money. And the sketchbook itself isn't intimidating. You know, it is so inexpensive that it's, it lacks intimidation factor. Um, and so the other thing is while I am a, fan of the everything everywhere notebook using a single notebook for everything and taking it with you everywhere. Um, these are so cheap that if I wanted to have a dedicated art journal or a sketchbook for one idea or one thought, I could do that. Um, my current, uh, sketchbook, my current, what I consider my everything everywhere sketchbook or art journal, um, I'm using the words interchangeably right now. Um, is too big for me to take every, everywhere. Um, you know, it's a, it's a nine by 12, which I thought I was really going to, um, like, and wanted to, you know, throw into my backpack, but it's just, it's a little too big and heavy for me to take everywhere. And I realized I really like the eight by 10 size of this sketchbook for my art journal and my everything everywhere book. And, uh, it's just a much more manageable size. Um, so I am switching over to this style of, um, art journal, um, in this size, uh, after I finish my current everything everywhere art journal, I'm probably going to be working in a couple of them concurrently. Um, but yeah, so, so I could say, oh, all right, I'm going to turn one of these into my commonplace. It's only going to have quotes and my thoughts about creativity, or I'm going to plan out my art journal videos in one of these. And with $20, I could walk into five below and walk out with four of these. Um, like I said, because they're so cheap, you can have a, one of these for any topic that you want. I have a sketchbook that I filled with drawings of bottle caps, stacks of bottle caps, individual bottle caps, blown up bottle caps. Um, I drew those with a fountain pen. 
I also dedicated half of that sketchbook to drawing used tea bags. I'd brew my cup of tea in the evening and then I would arrange the tea bag on its little plate uh, and draw the tea bag um, and all its little wrinkles and folds. And that was a great way to fill up a cheap sketchbook. You know, that entire sketchbook is a little spiral round job I got at Ocean State Job Lot. And the paper wasn't great, but it worked really well with my fountain pen. And I emptied a fountain pen or two into it and just filled it up. It felt so free. And I learned so much about drawing and sketching fast and loose with a fountain pen in that sketchbook. In the same way, in this moment at the food court at the mall, I'm learning a lot about this paper and these brush pens. Um, it's so valuable just being able to be loose and free with the material and learning how to use it in a cheap sketchbook. And, you know, I think that's a great use of five bucks. So there are many reasons not to use a cheap sketchbook. If you're um, using watercolor or you know what kind of paper you like, buy the right sketchbook. Buy the sketchbook you like. Um, also, if you are someone who fills one art journal a year, um, you know, I fill multiple art journals and sketchbooks a year. Um, and because of that, it doesn't make sense for me to have all of my sketchbooks be the fancy Stillman and Byrne Alpha series that I adore. I adore those sketchbooks. I think they're wonderful. But I fill so many sketchbooks in a year that it doesn't make sense for me to spend the $30 every time I fill one. Whereas for me, it feels much looser and freer to spend $5 and fill up many, many sketchbooks. So... Um, if paper frustrates you, if knowing that your watercolors are going to bleed through, your markers are going to bleed through, buy the better sketchbook. You know, invest in yourself in the way that works. For me, buying a cheap sketchbook is an investment. Um, all right. So with that, I want to say thank you all for being here. I really appreciate all the likes, the thumbs up, the new subscriptions. Um, if you're new, hit that subscription button, the bell for notification, all the other stuff all the YouTubers say. Do that. Um, and if you really enjoy this content, head over to my Ko-fi page. Um, you know, you can buy me a cup of coffee if you really enjoy this content. And that money ends up being dumped right back into the channel, um, obviously with purchases of sketchbooks and materials that I'll talk about on the channel. So with that, thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye!